Welcome back to Designer Track. Today we're going to talk about grids. I'm going to go ahead and use the screen I have pulled up here, page six. And in doing so, talking about grids, there are different options we can use. There is the auto option, the star option, and the pixel option that determines the width and so our screen is going to be a certain size as it is with any phone you know your phone screen is not going to expand and while we can zoom in and out on our screens when we're designing we want to keep our options of auto star and pixel open I'm going to go ahead and set up a grid real quick and then we'll get into it some more all right, so we're going to click on our content page and we are going to click on our plus button and start our grid. In my grid, I'm going to make it two rows and then three columns wide. Super easy to add rows and columns as we need. And for each of our columns to start with, I'm going to give each one of them one star worth of space so that we can talk about what each of that means. So you can see each column is one star, each row is one star. So they each get equal shares of the screen. You can see it's divided into three. If we wanted to add more, we can always add more, and it just basically readjusts and it splits it into four, just like a pie, right? All right, so I'm going to delete that fourth one out of there. Don't need it. All right. I'm going to add a couple of images to our screen so that we, this is easy to understand. I'm going to fix my row height where, no, I'm not going to fix my row height. Let's see, a couple more images. Let's add two more. All right, excellent. So our first image that I'm going to put in here, I need to pick my source. And I'm just going to use embedded images that I have picked, already loaded. My cancel button. For the first one it's in a good spot I just need it to be on the first row in the first column for this demonstration the second one I'll pick the next embedded image I'm gonna pick my silver hamburger button but you can see we can't see it because it's not in the right spot so let's move it over to the next column there we go third image let's embed our page save icon and we'll move it over to his spot all right so here we have our three images let's talk about what our column information is right now they're all one star which means that they each have equal space on our screen so let's ch do some changing let's make our left column auto Auto means it's going to take up the space it needs for the image or whatever you have in there, whether it be an image, words, what have you. So that's what auto means. It's going to take the space it needs. Wow, it needs a lot of space evidently. All right. So then let's go to our next column, our middle column. You can see from the highlight, it shrunk that dude way down there because it's on star. So we're still going to leave it at one star because we're going to say you're going to take your portion of this screen. And let's go to our third column here. We can either click it here on the left in the visual tree or we can click it here on the actual screen. And we're going to make that guy pixels. And that's way too small. I'm going to swap my images here because this cancel button is giant let's do some change in real quick how 
how about we switch out this first column for pixel or no for star and we'll make the second column auto. Nope, same problem. Okay, no problem. I'm going to add one more row. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier to see. So we can see from how we have these marked as auto, which means take up as much space as you need, one star, which means you get one section, one share of the screen, and 23, which would be the pixels we have on the screen, means that it allows this image to be 23 pixels wide. So let's just start increasing it and let's watch what happens. Our star adjusts because the star is going to, it gets whatever's left. So our 75 pixel image is going to grow. Our star image is going to take what's left and our auto column is going to take our auto column is going to take whatever it needs for whatever's in that spot. What happens if we do some changing on these? Our auto column, let's change it down instead of auto, let's give it two stars. What about three stars? Let's change our 75 back to stars. 75 stars, yeah, I don't think we need it to be 75. Let's go back to one. And we're going to come back to our four star and we're going to make it even bigger. You can see how it shrinks. Everybody else's portions are getting smaller because the one on the left is getting bigger. It gets more shares. Let's put them all back at one. Same way if we do any of the others in stars. And let's add some pixels to the others as well. Love when it drops it down to one. Yeah, that looks about right. 40. And we'll drop this one to 40 as well. And you can see the one that gets the shares takes whatever's left. All right, so that kind of explains how our grids are set up and what the auto, star, and pixels mean. Let's go back and save. And then let's go see what it looks like in Visual Studio. We've made some changes. We've done it all through design. Visual Studio wants to reload. Please do. Let's go down to our page six. And there's all of our code typed in for us. Back in Designer Track, if you have any feedback for us, please click on Help, go down to Feedback, and let us know what's up. Thanks for stopping by.